Welcome back to Legacy of Kane Defiance. And thankfully, loading a save worked. So now, we can move on with our lives and actually use the pillars to jump on tops of them. On top of them. If it's multiple pillars, this is plural tops or singular top. Uh, for, uh, forget it, this is of no relevance. Forget it. Okay, we are about to encounter the second to last enemy, which we already saw in the last video and could have seen as early as in the chapter... Uh, I believe it is chapter 6, which is the pillars for Raziel. So, introducing the Dreadnought Archons. They are incredibly annoying if you are trying to hit them with your entire combo, and they are completely non-threatening if you just hit them twice, twice, and then dodge away immediately. If they hit you like this, then they end up draining your health slowly, much like the uh, regular Archons, which are actually called, I checked, I just looked it up, they're actually called the Reaper Archons. So there isn't an enemy that would be called just Archons. There are Reaper Archons and there are Dreadnought Archons. But yeah, I find it entertaining how literally every single enemy that Raziel encounters is designed to be hit only twice and not use the entire combo. They're like, what is the purpose of that combo? And we are about to see what the last use for the Earth River is. We do not have to do this. We do not have to do this. Especially seeing as TK is so hard to control. But we will do it anyway. Because it has to be done. <laughs> ah, that is satisfying. Blop. And I am out of TK. Blop. Plop. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here's what you do with the Earth Reaver. You equip it, and suddenly you become heavy. Now here's something stupid. Like, really stupid. There is actually an arcane tome there, but you cannot... Uh, oh, I mean here. But you cannot really see it unless you already know that it's here. And there are more Dreadnought Archons there. Oh well. And that's it. We have all the Arcane Tomes. We have. To, uh, we can see all the concept art for Raziel there is to see. Which we will see after the LP is over. Because I honestly cannot be bothered to record it right now. Actually, I mentioned how you can... Uh, encounter the Elder Arch I mean the Dreadnought Archons earlier in the game in uh, Pillars at the Pillars you can actually do this if you uh, okay remember near the Pillars there's this uh, grate that Raziel has to open with the bronze disc but that he can face through if he goes into the Spectral Realm now you're not supposed to go through it into the Spectral Realm but if you do then that is where you will encounter them but then you will have to backtrack, then you will have to go back and go back to the, sp to the physical realm and... Uh, uh, and I am pointing with my thumb, with my left thumb behind me as if anyone can see that. 
you'll have to go back and go into the physical realm and get the disc and open the grate. And yes, getting this uh, bloody arcane tome made this like two minutes longer than it should have been. But now we have a convenient shortcut into this room where we got the like one of the halves of the Vorador Crest. And now... Beautiful. And yes, being underwater slows down everything. And when I say everything, I do mean everything. Plop. And now we have all the TK runes. We will not be needing them anymore at all. And I'm not joking, I don't think I'll use TK once in the entire in the remainder of the game. Except maybe I think there might be one instance where I will have to use it to break something, but Yeah, that is an entirely pointless and unnecessary TK rune, so do not bother getting it if you are playing the game. And that's a waste of time. And this is the last, the last, yes, the last health talisman. And this one is actually useful. And with this, we have successfully 100%ed the run for Raziel. Uh, yeah, it, was it worth it? Fuck no! But we did it anyway, because we're professionals. That was a lucky coincidence. Thankfully this door is open already, so I don't have to go there again like this. By the way, this is the face of Janos, I think. And this is definitely the face of Janos, and this is something that I never actually... Uh, never noticed until right now. Stupid camera. Okay, now this door, I tried to take a look at it in the last chapter, but this is actually the, uh, the same blueprint that we can see in the... Uh, in the Elder God's room in Soul River 2. And this is how all the elemental rivers work. This is how the mechanisms that we, that we will trigger a bit later works. And now, before, uh, before doing this, first, take a close look at Janos's neck. Or, or try to, and fail. Another thing is that this thing above Janos, this thing, white thing, it looks kind of, goat thing, it looks kind of like an icon of sin. Like the icon of sin, Shh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's do this. There, finally, it's a, a good look. Now, let's do this. This relic had come at so high a cost. My blood offering for the answers I sought from this enigmatic corpse. It was the price of my freedom, for which Cain had paid with his life. Had I journeyed so far and forsaken so much, only to have it end like this? Remember, Raziel, the heir of prophecy. You came for the Reaver just before the Seraphim found me. You've been entombed here for five centuries, 
Your murderers are long dead. <gasps> Five hundred years. And Vorador. Also dead. Your bloodline is erased. The age of the vampires is coming to an end. Then we must waste no time. I'm not who you think I am. Nor is this a benevolent act. I have questions that apparently you alone can answer. Brazil, there are forces in this world that will strive to deceive you and pervert your destiny. But you must believe your arrival foretells the salvation of the vampire race. Why then would the vampires devise a weapon to consume and imprison their savior? No, that cannot be. While the blade yet exists, I am drawn inexorably toward my doom. It was you who bound me to this fate. Only you can release me. Raziel, you have been misled. You are ordained by prophecy to wield the Reaver. <sighs> and so I do, though not quite as you'd envisioned. Redeemer and Destroyer. Is it possible? Did I misread all the signs? It seems your destiny is more labyrinthian than I had imagined. You must trust me, Raziel. We may have very little time. I will convey you to the place where your answers lie. We are within the ancient citadel of the vampire race, long ago defiled and abandoned. This fortress endured through centuries of war against our great enemy. The Hilden? Yes. From this chamber, we witnessed the summoning of the pillars and the banishment of our adversaries from the land. <sighs> this is a dire omen. The binding is in peril. The hour of prophecy is at hand. It's too late. The pillars are already damned. As long as a single one of us stands, there is still hope. The pillars must not remain under human guardianship. They are not competent to serve. Why then did you allow the pillars to fall into human hands? Raziel, there is no time. I want answers. The world can end this instant for all I care. Very well. The Hilden cursed us as they fell afflicting our race with a predatory bloodthirst. But with this transformation came our enemy's true revenge. Immortality. They liberated you from the wheel of fate. They imprisoned our souls in this flesh, expelling us from the purifying cycle of death and rebirth. And yet you pass the curse on. It was a necessary evil. Our immortality banished us from God's grace. He turned his sight from us and fell silent. Many took their own lives, unable to bear the separation from our God. Not you, though. Curse or blessing, it is the price we pay to keep the Hilden banished from the land. To sustain the binding, we had to preserve our bloodline. And so we passed the dark gift to the human successors of our fallen guardians. They rebelled, inevitably, refusing the curse and seizing the pillars as their own. And so we come to our present dilemma. While mankind governs the pillars, the binding decays. The Hilden strain against the barriers of their prison, scratching to gain a foothold back into this world. And what does all this mean to me? We stand at the threshold of a new eon, Raziel. And you are the fulcrum upon which our destiny turns. Beneath this room lies our innermost sanctum. The outer chamber has been opened. It appears events are already in motion. This token is the key to the mysteries you seek. I cannot accompany you. You must face this trial alone. If you prevail, you will have your answers. And if I fail the test? Then you will not return.
golden Ouroboros. Of course it's an Ouroboros. What else would it be? So, uh, well, we have kind of destroyed half of uh, Yanis' convictions about things, in particular about Raziel, what he is. I honestly think it's a missed opportunity. Might have as well destroyed everything he believed in with respect to what their, uh, air quotes, God is. And now, uh, this is where we will be finishing off the video, but first, let's take a look at one thing. Do you see anything? But you hear it. You hear it. But you cannot see it. Raziel, however, can. Also, why the hell are the invisible Archons easier to hit than visible ones? Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.